What's up? What's up, everybody? I gotta make sure audio levels are okay, because I think I kicked the mic before. You know, because I'm a goddamn mess. But I think everything looks okay. Actually, well, the audio, game audio looks a little low, but that's fine. That'll that'll get louder. Well, welcome in, everybody. Hope everyone's doing all right. Welcome in, Opt. 15, can you imagine 15 minutes of ads? Can you imagine hopping into a goddamn stream and seeing 15 minutes of ads? Dude, I'd cry. I mean, three minutes is a lot, but that's why whenever I do the three-minute ad, it's always on the starting screen. Um, but 15 minutes? Give us just a minute, Camouflag, because we might have a full crew. Actually, yeah, go ahead and invite him for the first game, because I know Ambie's going to be joining us. But yeah, invite Sushi for, for a game, for sure. Actually, I think he's on my friends list. I think I can invite him. I'm pretty sure that's him. Well, welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, Opt. Opt, would you like to join today? And how was your stream this morning? I saw the going live message, of course, after I woke up. Although, I am getting damn insane sleep now. I mean, I'm waking up a lot at night, but... Not, like, an unbelievable amount. What am I looking for? I'm looking for what you played. In the self-promotion section. What? Uh, yeah, it was a game I hadn't heard of. What's a front mission? What's it like? <laughs> uh, we might be. It depends on if Opt wants to play. Opt played with us while we were on vacation. I don't know what he's doing right now. Uh, but I know Ambie will be joining us in a few short minutes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Burger with the fries on the side. Dude, that is a perfect team. Well, let's see. Ah, did you want did you want to join today? Oh, that sadly that was vacation, so not this time. Gotcha, gotcha. That does make a lot of sense. Yeah, I think I have my speakers up pretty high. But yeah. Uh, how's the front? Uh, God, what the, what, what the hell is the name of it again? Front Mission? That's totally what the name of it was. What kind of game is that, Opt? I don't even know that game. And how's it been going? And has Ignis not been streaming? I haven't seen any of his live notifications since I've been paying attention again. When was his last stream? That just changed the whole music. Okay, yeah, it was like eight days ago. I haven't seen it, I guess. Uh, how was Front Mission? The, the game you've been streaming. Hopefully that's been going well. What kind of game is it? Um, what are you, what are you guys feeling, Cam? Like, should we start one? Should we wait for Am Ambi? Said she might be ready soon. I th she has to get ice for her ankle, but we could probably fit a game in. Are you and Sushi good? I'll start up a squads. So if you guys do want to start it up, you guys can just ready up and we'll get thrown in. Who the fuck are all these people? Yeah, fuck if I know, Ambi. It was good. It's a tactical RPG mech game. Oh, shit. So is it kind of like the Gundam stuff? Amb with an IE. That's a good one. Ambi, are you ready to hop in? Because I'll hold off for a second. Oh, we can't all hop on your back, Camel Flag? Then what's the point? What's the point of getting a full squad if we can't all ride on his back?
Okay. Sounds good. We can do. We can do a game. Mm. Guys, I need to tell you the story. It'll, it'll sound. It'll sound confusing at first, like, why are you telling us this story? But don't worry, it'll come back, and Optimus, I think you're gonna love this story. But I really think you're gonna get a kick out of this. It runs in my family. So, I have two younger sisters. My youngest sister, Katie. Okay? She was born very early in the morning. So, as I now know, my mom's water broke, or, or something happened in the middle of the night. Uh, she called my aunt, uh, her sister, to come over. And stay in the house with, you know, me and my sister while my mom and dad went to the hospital to, you know, have the baby. Apparently, at around four in the morning, I woke up. I woke up. And as a kid, I was six, I think I was six years old. Six or seven at the time. I can't, I, I, I think I was, yeah, whatever, six or seven, pretty young. <laughs> woke up, went into my mom's room. And I was just like saying hi. I, I went to the bathroom, so I was like, yeah, I'll say hi really quick and then I'll whatever. And I said hi, and it was obviously not my mom, and it was my aunt who was there. But I didn't notice that. She said hi back, and she was like, I can't believe he didn't realize. So she just went back to sleep. I went in three minutes after that again and said, who are you? And she was like, how'd you know it wasn't me? How'd you know it wasn't your mom? And I looked at her and I'm like, my mom never drinks water. And there's a Poland spring water on the bedside table. <laughs> so just so you know, it runs in the family. And I, I, oh shit. Ah, uh, is this a new one? I've never seen this. Basically, my aunt was thrown out the window because, uh, she doesn't, because, uh, I know that my mom doesn't drink water. Yeah, I've never seen this one. This is interesting. So sorry if I'm doing ass. You mother... Whoa! What the heck just happened? I'm so confused. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I'm really not a fan of this one, guys. What the fuck is going on? Can you not? Dude, come on. Please... What am I playing here? Literally, what am I playing? <laughs> We're gonna get to the point now where I'm not gonna do Fall Guys again because it's not the right maps. Although, to be fair, this I don't think this is a custom map. I think this is a different one they made. I don't like when things are new. I don't like when things are annoying. To be fair, guys, I'm coming off of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth last night and doing nothing but dying. <laughs> that's exactly it. A little hydrophobia? Dude, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Cam Flake, she called you smart. That's true. Ambi's already got the boxing gloves on. Ambi, do you know in box boxing gloves? own boxing gloves. Ambi, I think you should become, a, like, an Olympic kickboxer tomorrow. 
Also, let me tell you guys something. The Olympics are wild, okay? Because, like, really, if you really think about it, now this is this is not a diss to anyone because anything that you see in the Olympics is fucking impressive. Like, I was watching, um, like the thing I'm about to talk about is the the high uh, the pole vault, the pole vault, okay? Like, gymnastics makes sense to me. Swimming makes sense to me. A lot of events make sense to me. The pole vault is just like, how high can this man jump over a very long bar while using a handicap of another really long bar? It's like, it doesn't say, like, where's the practical application? You know what I mean? <clears throat> like, how did that make it in? What is that? Who, who decided that? I, others make more sense than that one to me. That's not downplaying it. It is fucking impressive. But, like... The fuck? We are close to qualifying. Three more? That'd be good. No one's qualified yet? Let's do it! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, wow. Two teams qualified at the same time, pretty much. Shit. You Paul vaulted to get across gaps in ancient times? We'll just don't have gaps. Just fill in the gap. Or, or go somewhere. I feel like in ancient times, you had so much of the world to just live on. Maybe just find somewhere with less gaps that you had to jump across. That's still just, I mean, that still makes less sense to me now, Oft. Yo, Klingon, welcome in. Dude, thank you for the good luck. It's good to see you. I've been lurking on a couple of your streams with some Resident Evil stuff recently, man. I hope everything's been going well. Had some medical problems that I'm still kind of dealing with, and we're getting there. I think, I think we've so, uh, not determined yet completely, but I think we have a damn good idea what the root problem was. Um, it's gonna take, I think, uh, probably like a couple more days just to confirm or deny. But we're getting there. Good to see you, Kling. And now because Kling has blessed this run, we are going to win. Even though the guy that fell was our teammate. Oh my gosh, Kling. Dude, I don't I don't know if you've gotten back to it at all yet, but man, I uh me and my friend are still plowing away at Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We're on like the challenge fights at the end of the game, the legendary bouts. Holy shit. We're on our last two. But damn. Damn are these fucking challenging. Oh, I am so down. Come on, grab me. Grab me. Fuck. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? How does he not get hit by that? I'm still over here saying that we need... We need a no-grab mode for Fall Guys. We really do. <laughs> Stole buttons from each other the whole game. 
Ah, uh, that's alright. They were good, and they were also assholes, so that kind of sucked. <laughs> I'll do that trade. Yes, one thing at a time. Got I got a couple rashes near, like, insulin sites, but I went to see my doctor yesterday, and we pretty much determined it has nothing to do with the insulin stuff, so we're trying to think of, like, third-party things, and I think we I think we got it. We have some deter we, we were using new detergent on my sheets, and I think that's it, but we won't know for a couple days, and still just gotta watch and make sure nothing new pops up, but I think we're looking good. No, can you imagine not? That would suck. Hundred ten hours of that was enough. Yeah, I don't fucking blame you, dude. I'm just so like at this point, I really am like that kind of bothersome. I'm like, man, I put this much time into it. There's no way I'm not gonna finish it. But man, you 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 have the right idea. But now it's pinched nerve. <laughs> Grabbing takes no skill. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Um, Ambi, do you want in on this next game? Yeah, I hope everything's doing all right, Opt. In your neck and lower back. Is this new, or was that part of what was causing the issues before? Like, the pain? Or or is this brand new pain? <laughs> but yeah, Ambi, let me know if you're in on this game. I didn't invite you. Do it! Ambi, I did appreciate the picture yesterday that you sent. She sent me a picture since she's elevating her leg because of her uh, ankle. Oh my god, you know you said that? Wait, what happened? What the heck just happened? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Ambi dipped out for a minute. Ambi dipped out for a minute because she's going to do something. She was waiting for her grandmother to get there because she was going to talk to her for a little bit, and she literally texted me she's going to be here at 1.30, and then I didn't realize that it was 1.30, so she just texted me that she got there. So she, she's going to be back whenever she can. So, does Sushi still want to play? Or did Sushi just quit for a reason? Sounds good. We'll wait for him. Should we wait for him or should we do another game without him? Like, do you know how long it's going to take? Oh, I didn't even realize he was here. I'm just a silly goose sometimes, guys. Yeah, we left her. Who needs Ambi? I need Ambi. There's nothing better than eating breakfast at 1.30 p.m. with a breakfast bowl and, and like, sun-kissed zero sugar. I get that. Totally, Kling. 110%. I think I heard something about Part 3 recently, but I think it was just that they... It wasn't a release window. I can't remember what it was. It wasn't anything huge. But... Dedication is exactly the right word. But I want to ask, Kling, because I don't think I've seen you stream it again. But I know you said you weren't, you maybe weren't going to. Did, have you gotten back and doing a lot of uh, Paper Mario? 
Thousand Year Door remake. And same with you, Camflag, because I know you were psyched for that. Obviously, no spoilers, because I think there's some new stuff in the game that wasn't in the original, but um, I don't know anything about it. But that's what me and my friend are going to do after Rebirth. So we're, we're going to try and finish up the two last legendary bouts that we have, and then move on to some Paper Mario. And then I think when we finish Paper Mario Remake, we're going to go and do Hard Mode for Rebirth. I think that's our idea right now. That totally depends on... I mean... Of the two legendary bouts that we have left, we we messed around with it last night because we got to it super late. And we're like, man, let's just give it a shot. Let's see what happens. And we got... So there are ten rounds of it, and we, we got to round nine. Not easily, but it wasn't... Like, we did it without any planning. So, like, realistically, if we plan for it a little bit better, now that we know what we're fighting... We might be able to do one of the two. So we feel pretty confident about being able to do it eventually, but they're they're gonna be rough. <coughs> Fuck eye pickups, if that's what you guys heard. You don't need Ambi. Oh, I'm telling Ambi that. Oh, but I want her? Alright, fair. I guess that's better than not wanting her, but needing her. So, you know what? Good on you, Camouflage. That seems very healthy and not toxic of you. Just did her once or twice, haven't gotten back. Gotcha. That'll be a free time game for you? Hell yeah. No, I'm, I'm super looking forward to it. Um, what do you call it? One of my friends that I used to play games with all the time in elementary school and a little bit of middle school, he got super busy in high school with running track, taking extra classes, and then he went to, like, uh, he's now a physical therapist, so he was doing a lot of schooling and a lot of work for it. So... Once high school hit, we weren't hanging out as much, but he's been getting back into video games, and he texted me, and he was like, dude, like, if you're picking that game up, I would love to come stream it with you. And I'm like, say less. Like, I'm here for it. So, mm. Hopefully soon we'll find some time to get in here. We got this, guys. No, I never want camouflage here. It's not like I do Fall Guys specifically for him every Wednesday. I say that having not done it in, like, months. <laughs> I've never seen that before. The fuck? Did you guys get disconnected too, or was it just me? You know, I was wondering why that orange ball was floating in the air. I don't think I have an unstable internet connection. Are any of my frames dripping? Dripping. Do I? Yeah, do I frame drip? No. I guess it's just my Xbox? Well, being the cam flag hasn't said anything, I assume that... Him and Sushi are still in the game, so. Huh. Interesting. Oh well. I didn't. It definitely disconnected me. Okay. Well, I'll chill, I'll chill here until the end of the game. <clears throat> but yeah, I want to thank you guys for being here. Always appreciate it. Um, later today, we will be doing Pokemon Sword and Shield Dynamax Adventures. Come help us get those shinies. Give us that sh good shiny luck. Uh, Blood Trip God actually got his first shiny legendary last Wednesday. So, uh, that's, that's so cool. So he finally got one. I think it's Jake's turn to get something. I recently got Palkia, so I, I, I think it's Jake's turn to get something. So, 
So pop on in for that around 6.30 p.m. EST. Bring us that shiny luck. And there's a possibility we're going to try and do some Halo Infinite tonight as well. I know we were, we were plowing away at that, but it was a while ago that we were doing some. So I'm hoping that around 9.30 p.m. EST we'll be able to do some of that. But I got to see what Nick and Zach are doing. I did text Nick. So I'll see what he says, and then I'll hit Zach up if, uh, if we're all around for it. Oh, you lost? All right, here. Let me send you the invite. Oh, awesome. I can't. Okay. God, I hate this. <clears throat> Who the fuck is Clearfire? Alright, well, I sent you guys invites. But yeah, again, thank you guys for being here. Um, the rest of the week is going to be very, like, hit or miss with what I'm doing. What the fuck am I doing Friday? I told someone I could do something Friday. Man, I hope I remember what that is. Oh, you guys switched. Hell yeah. Let's do it. But I'm definitely still going to try tomorrow during the afternoon to do some Trails of Cold Steel 2. Legless button. Na, 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 It's so good. It's not. It's just fun. And I don't even know if that's true. But I love it. Our teammate's not too bad. He's right here with us. Sick. So, Kling, you might be working, and I'll ask this to Op, too, because I know we were talking about it before, Op, though I don't think I ever... I don't think I asked this question, though I meant to. So, for Metal Gear Solid, if I'm interested in playing the series, do you guys recommend that I play, like, the original? Or, like, the originals, like, for the three? Or should I do the remasters? Like, are there bugs with the remasters that I should be wary of? Is it just better looking? Do they feel better? Like, what... What's the general idea, if you guys have opinions? Like I said, Kling might just be lurking, Kling. You might be working, Kling, so don't worry about it, but... I did mean to ask this the other day off when we were talking about it.
no way. I can buy the best viewers at that site? Dude, that's awesome. Yo, I'm gonna have to check that site out in a minute. Can you guys imagine that I can buy people better than you at that place right there? Isn't that gonna be crazy? Oh shit, come on. Come on, fan. Woo! Okay. Now let's try, uh... Let's try clicking that button. Okay. There are no re remasters? The only one is Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. Wasn't there a collection? Oh, the collection is what I was thinking of. Oh, so they weren't remasters. It's just a port of the first time. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so I can totally play the collection and still get the same experience then. Okay. Sick. That'll make it a lot easier. Because if I can find these games, I want to make a point. <sighs> it's going to be tough, man. Because I think one of, one of the coolest ideas I've had, which is just rough due to, first off, time constraints for any single person in the world. And also, money constraints for someone who doesn't have a job. Um, I think I mentioned it before, man. I would love to do, like, a Game of the Year series. And what I mean by that is, like, in 2025, I would just play through on stream all of the six... Nom uh, like 2024 Game of the Year nominees. Like, I think that would be so cool. Alright, Camouflage, it's up to us. I might try it on normal first. <clears throat> kind of what I did with the er older Yakuza games. Because, like, I just want... Like, after playing Yakuza 1 and 0 on, like, the normal difficulty and realizing, like, hey, I love these games, but I'm really bad at them. May as well just have a good time. And then I, then I went to easy for Yakuza 2. Um, I might start on normal first, but I think I will take your offer up on that and just play it on easy. But I don't want to start it on easy. I want to give it a shot on normal first. Is there a chance of us catching up? Yeah, absolutely. Ah, uh, 10 seconds left? I don't think so. Yeah, no, no. Darn. We, lo we lost our first guy, like, almost immediately on it. Put him down again. We had a chance to- no, the game ended. What do you mean? The round ended and we came in third. It was only- it was only the first two. Did I fuck up? Did I fuck up that bad? Oh, okay, so we did get eliminated. Oh, that's what you meant, that's what you meant. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we were catching up in terms of points. That scared me. I was like, oh shit, did I, did I actually just leave when we still, like, had the chance? You guys know me. I'm out of it. But yeah, I would love to do like a game of the year series, like for the for the previous year. Like I think that would be so much fun. But then like also like looking at the games from last year. Like I only played. Did I even play one of them? Because I did. Oh Jesus Christ! Because I didn't play Tears of the Kingdom. 
Resident Evil 4 remake, no. I played Spider-Man 2. I didn't play Baldur's Gate 3. I didn't play Super Mario Bros. Wonder. What was the other one? Alan Wake 2 I didn't play either. <clears throat> but I'm like, man, that would be really fun to do. I used to always get that, and now I miss it every time. But, in addition to that, I want to try and hit some new series. Like, I really want to try some, uh, some of the Metal Gear Solid games. I know I've been talking about it here. I think I also talked about this with Oft, and I was talking about it with my friend Zach, who we're possibly going to be doing Halo Infinite with later. Um, uh, Devil May Cry. I want to hit some of the Devil May Cry games. Resident Evil would be a fun series to try as well. But I th I, I'm definitely more interested in the others that I listed first. Right off the bat. So I don't know. fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What? Oh. It was a survival? Bro. Or no, it's not a, it's not a survival. Dude, did our teammate just grab you and take you down with him? Is that what happened, or was he on you? Okay, now I see what that one was. That's what I get for looking at my phone in between rounds. I didn't get to look at it ahead of time. That was my bad. You pick- okay. That's, a, that's better than what I was thinking. Yeah, the hoverboard levels are rough. There was a, uh, There's another one um, that I was getting a lot while I was on vacation uh, playing with my cousins, and it, it was a rough one. It was a rough one because the first couple times we got it, we weren't looking at the screen, so we had no idea what to do again, and then we were just like, well, fuck, and we're like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's an awesome outfit, though. God damn, sushi. That's sick. <laughs> yeah, but again, thank you to Camouflag and Sushi for hopping in. Always appreciate you guys. And it's good to see Sushi again. Hope he's doing well. Are the boosters the, like, little, like, white light poles that they have popping up now? They're kind of a pain. Is that what they're called? Because I'm assuming it's... Yeah, okay, the blue things. It, it seems pretty clear that they've definitely made some new rounds, which, you know what, I'm fine with. They're not customs, so I appreciate them for that. Oh, whoops. Well, that was a mess. Um, they're not customs, which I appreciate them for. So, I guess I'll try and get used to that and see what happens. I wonder how many rounds they made that are new. Mm 
Boom. The levels are actually very old. I've never seen them before. Were they pulled? Were they like? I'm gonna use this in a weird turn. Were they like beta levels? Oh, they haven't been in existence for like a year and a half. Oh, okay. So they were just older levels that they brought back now. Interesting. Okay. Alright, sure, why not? We need more Blast Ball. Wrong button. Psst. Yeah, we have two people out. Well, what have you been doing for three hours if you're not existing? And what were you in the last three hours, then? Were you a pancake? What would you pick? Uh-oh. Well, that was funny. We don't talk about my death. Yo, come on, Tragic Roden. Come on. Nah, we out. Damn. Um. Oh, no, we're not out yet. Can you do anything if you don't exist? You might be able to be something. But probably not. But if you don't exist, then what were you doing for that time? Because you exist now. That's, a confu that's where the confusion comes in. I ran towards a bomb and it fell off and I was on the soap on my way to an hedge. <laughs> Just kind of kept on going, huh? We've all been there. No way. High on Life is getting a TV adaptation. That's crazy. We were so close. We were so close. <laughs> what do you play on? Do you play on Switch? Camel flag? You play on PlayStation? Yeah, it's square. There's no wait. There's no Y button. There's no Y button on the on the PlayStation controller. What are you talking about? Oh, but the rando is probably switch play. That's what you mean. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use your in-game legs, please.
Come on, man. Don't you know all randoms play on the Nintendo Switch? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Am I going to be back at the beginning? Oh, no. Oh, I didn't even see that checkpoint go through. Little silly goose. All right. Man, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing rounds I haven't seen in a while. Like, I, rem I remember this one a while ago, but... I hadn't gotten it in a long time. All right, I should actually take this a little seriously. Whoa, okay. For anyone wondering, we're probably going to be trying to hit some um, Trails of Cold Steel tomorrow afternoon, being that I wasn't able to do it Tuesday like I was trying to do, but with a dock appointment and everything, so I'll definitely be doing some Trails of Cold Steel 2 tomorrow afternoon. Friday, it is unclear what I'm going to be doing because there is a there's a chance that I'll be streaming with Ambi. I don't know exactly how her week is planned out now between, I forget, I, I think she's off from work, but I know she has plans later in the day. So depending on how her ankle is feeling, she may be getting here to stream, she may not be. Um, so I don't have anything written on the schedule for Friday. I will let everyone know if we end up going live on Friday and what with, if we do. Um, our normal Saturday stream with Blood Trip and Biggest Thonk will not be happening because they're going to be going on vacation Friday or Saturday. So don't forget though, what what's the, um, let me pull up the date, hold on. So it's... Saturday, August 17th. Saturday, August 17th is going to be the last stream that Biggest Donk will be here with us for for a little while. He's going back to school. Um, so definitely come on out to that and have some fun with him. We're going to be doing our last stream. Um, the last stream we're going to be doing with him is going to be the last sub goal because uh, throughout the summer, since he's been home, we've been banging away on other sub goals such as doing the Pokemon Battle Revolution streams, the Pokemon the, the Poke Park streams for Pokeparks 1 and 2. We finished all of those. And we finished the Naruto game that we were in the middle of earlier this year. So we, we did a lot while he was here. But the last one that we have is Goldeneye 007. I don't know if we're gonna finish it, but man I hope so. Sounds good, Cam Flag. What do we got? Uh Three bananas, two pears. Three bananas, two pears. So we're going to be... So Saturday, August 17th, is going to hopefully be a longer GoldenEye 007 stream. Three bananas. Uh, we're hoping that we can get that done at least. And we'll go from there. And see what we can get done. I think that'll be a lot of fun. It'll be my first, uh, anyone who knows GoldenEye 007, this is going to be my very first playthrough of it. I've played a couple levels, but not too many. Four dragon fruit, three kiwi, two papayas. Whatever the fuck those things are. I have no idea what those, what those things are. Four dragon fruit, three kiwis, two papayas. That's what I'm going with. Well, there goes my entire team. This coming from the floaty banana with no legs. True. Play Gold 9 multiplayer on complex with prox mines only. I don't know what any of those words mean. I'll be honest with you. We call that Marco Polo. I've never done Gold Knight at multiplayer. I've heard it was really good. Cool, cool, cool. Yo, thank you for the lurk, Ramen. Always appreciate you. I hope work's been going well. Good to see you, my man. But, uh... But after that Saturday, Saturdays will go back to being a me and blood trip thing. We're going to be going back to our Ratchet and Clank journey. We're going to be going back to the second Ratchet and Clank. 
We might hit the first one back up. We did the 2016 remaster of Ratchet and Clank 1, but we didn't realize that it was pretty different from the first one, so we might get back to it at some point. But for now, we're going to continue with that one. Then we'll probably hit up some Jack and Daxter. We're looking for, like, older PS2 titles that we used to play. So we're also looking at some Crash Bandicoot games that we might be doing. We're looking at Attack of the Power of Juju that we might be doing. Like, we, we, we got some cool... We got some cool series that we might be hitting on. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Are all four of us moving? Yeah, okay, so Camouflage did make it back in time. I was like, we need to qualify fast. Yeah. Complex is the map. Oh, and only proxy. Okay, I. To be fair, I figured out the proximity mines. I did not know the complex was a map. Right. Yes. I. Yeah. I do know what proximity mines are. It was the map that I didn't know. Yo. We got this. I did not see you at the spinning thing. I didn't know if you were there. You did that the whole time? Oh, shit. This is why we need camouflage on the team, 100%. Was I gonna help my friend Taylor with something? Oh, shit. I think I was on Friday. Wait, guys, I think I remember what I'm doing on Friday. Hold on. I'll figure this out. <laughs> He's too dumb to jump through the hole. Listen, that works for us. Ooh, they lost a guy already. Nope, I'm out. I hate when the bigger gaps happen, man. I hate it. I'm such an idiot. Damn. All right. Sushi. Can't look like you guys got this. I always do bad on this one. I feel like I feel like I lose it in that way every time. I gotta stop trusting those. Perfect was the first game that you can make a zombie mode. Really? Make a multiplayer team game and have the other team be nothing but punching at it? Interesting. Right, I was gonna say perfect... I figured you meant Perfect Dark. That's that's pretty cool. I knew Perfect Dark was like a legendary kind of game. I didn't know what for. Um, Opt, have you seen anything about the new Perfect Dark that'll be coming out? I think 2025 is um, the tentative release year. Damn, that was close, man. Again, they were pretty good. They knew what they were doing. It's okay. I also don't know if Ambi's coming back. But as long as you guys are still good to keep playing, I'm good to go until like 3, 3.30ish probably. So I'll keep starting the games up. Camouflage, if you or Sushi have to dip, let me know. But I'll just keep going for it. I saw... So during the Xbox game showcase that was back in like June, I think it was? It was over the summer. It was at Summer Games Fest, so I think it was June uh, that it was shown off. Um, during the Xbox Game Showcase, they actually, uh, showed, like, five minutes of gameplay of the new Perfect Dark, and it looked so cool. And I didn't know anything about Perfect Dark. Like, I didn't know this was a reboot or anything, so I saw it, and I was like, oh, that seems pretty cool. And then people were, like, blowing up about it, and I was like, why the hell is everyone? And I was like, oh, because it was a massive title before. So, uh, it, it seems really cool. I don't know when it's coming out. I actually don't know if there was a release date. I think I probably just said 2025, because I know it's not 2024. But it seems like they're they're putting some work into it. So if you're interested, check that out. But I do also have to see what the uh, perfect what Perfect Dark looked like on the uh, X uh, not the Xbox uh, Nintendo 64 because I heard that was also a really big game for them. That makes sense, especially back then. I was gonna say that I 
not having not played it, I feel like GoldenEye kind of did the same. It was a good shooter with a good story, like, not, you know, good enough, but the multiplayer is what really, like, made it shine through. So that makes a lot of sense. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize that. I always loved the story with GoldenEye uh, that my, my friend, uh, his dad was a gamer, so they both used the N64 um, that they had, but... You know, my friend being in elementary school and then my friend's dad being an adult father, uh, he would have, like, the M-rated games. So he had GoldenEye 007 but wouldn't let my friend play it. So I remember one day my friend took the game and would hide it under his pillow so his dad thought that he just lost the game and then would play it when no one was home. or Like, he'd find a way to play it, and I'm like, that's, in that's incredible. That was one of my favorite stories ever for GoldenEye 007. Should I back out? I think we've been searching for a little while. Yeah, thank you for... I wasn't sure. I was waiting for someone else to say something, but... That works for me. Their game engine was unique. Yeah, that's fair. Totally different for its time, I'm sure. We got this. I never once thought of doing it like that. Holy shit. That is the first time I've ever seen anyone do that. And that is unbelievable to me. This guy's just having a rough go of it. He's not even bad, he's just having a rough time. There we go. Oh, we did this one the, uh, last week, Camp Flag. I was very confused about it.
Doesn't even look like we're getting that much. What the hell are you guys doing? Why are you guys going that way? There's so much less. Slime Scraper, here we go! No, are you kidding? Why did you keep rolling? Why? Dude, I really hate this one because it just works so different every other fucking time I do it, man. Like, I never roll that way. You can take that in whatever context you want. I literally can't get back up. I've never fall in there. Okay, let's try it. Ugh, this one frustrates me. What do, like, what, why? Why? Okay, thank god. I do not understand. I never get tripped up there anymore. But fuck yeah, I can't- Yeah, because you were carrying sushi, right? That is impressive. Frustrating. <laughs> well, can't help you now, guys. Well.
This is intense, man. Everyone's still in. What the fuck? Well, except for me and that one other guy, but... Ah, oh, damn. Oh. It's two on two. Sushi and Camouflag versus not Sushi and not Camouflag. Yo, thank you for the lurk opt. Always good to talk to you, man. I hope everything's been going well. Hopefully we'll see you later. Okay, I was like, it's down to him and this other guy. I mean, it's not... No, it's rough. Because he's got all that he can jump to. Yeah, that was rough on Sushi, because it, it just ended up being, like, part of the puzzle. And it was like, where do you jump to that you would have had more? That was really fucking good, Sushi. God damn. That was a good game, guys. Nice job. I'm definitely down for some more if you guys are. Ambi just said that she is good to join, so she'll be hopping back in in a couple minutes, so probably the next game or the game after that will be good for her. Giraffe! Giraffes are awesome. I don't know if anyone's going to get that reference, but... <laughs> it's a giraffe! That reference people would get. And again, Camouflage, dude, thank you for coming out and doing some Fall Guys with me. I wasn't sure if I was going to get to it. I woke up super late today. I actually pretty much ended up waking up at like 12.45. Granted, I was just 
wasn't even tired. I've just been getting more sleep since the medical stuff was happening. So I've just kind of been getting a bunch of sleep. Um, woke up and was like, oh, cool. This works. Woke up at 12.45. I was like, yeah, I'll make breakfast real quick and then start it up. You got this. You got this. Yo, Cam Flag, what's up, bud? I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here with you. I'm on you. I'm on you. Try getting away from this. I'm gonna beat Cam Flag, guys. Let's go hard. Let's go unnecessarily hard this one. Fuck. Well, who's that jackass? I didn't invite him. Whoop. Whoop. Fuck him up. Well, that was embarrassing. I like how it does give him like <laughs> 10 seconds. <laughs> They're like, alright, this guy's too good. <laughs> Stood still for a second. fuck is this oh wait is this the final yeah it is i don't think i've ever done this one Oh, 
Oh, this is so fucking annoying, dude. This is really about to be one of those fucking games. Seriously? Seriously? Come on, just grab him, dude. Like, what? Why slow down so much? Any game you have to fucking grab in this game, I'm out for. Like, I fucking hate it. Don't ever give me a fucking game where you have to grab people. The grab mechanics in this game are so shitty, dude. What the fuck was that? He didn't even drop it. He just picked it right back up? Are you kidding? No, I'm sitting here. That, this is no. Uh, this is an act of rebellion. This is a bullshit. I can't fucking handle it. I cannot do fucking games where you have to grab shit, because it never works for me. I do not understand. That guy legitimately just dropped it and picked it right back up. I picked it up and I dropped it immediately. That guy grabbed it from like six inches away, but if my balls aren't touching his mouth, it doesn't work for me. Like, what the fuck is that? Dude, I can't stand the grab mechanics in this game. I'm gonna kill them. I can't stand it. That's why I never grab people, because it never works. If I'm not inside of their mouth, it doesn't work. They can be across the fucking field and just hit the right trigger. And then just do it. I can't stand it. I can't stand those kinds of games, dude. Don't ever give us that as a final. That angered me. Bum, bum, bang, doom. Okay, I'm ready for another one, though. Ambi, Ambi just texted saying she's going to join the next one. Nothing gets me more frustrated in this game than going to grab somebody and then just missing the entire game. Because there's just no need for it. I've also never played Splatoon. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go out on a. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say uh, that was why I did so bad. Because I've never played Splatoon. And not just that I'm bad at this game. Yo, what the fuck happened there? Maybe I am just bad at this game. I'm starting to realize that. What happened? I've never once been able to do this. That was the first time ever. That was so wild.
I'm sorry, I ran to wash my hands real quick. All right. Yo, is Sushi being carried again yet? Or did Sushi do it by himself? Did Sushi- maybe Sushi had to walk away uh, the last time you guys- we were doing this. So who made it? I saw one of us got eliminated. Oh, cool. Both sushi and camouflage. Nice job, guys. Hell yeah. Oh, he's Clank. Oh, that's so cool. Sushi's gonna bail after this one. Sounds good. Do you still want to do some? That was just bad luck for that guy. He was doing good. Ambi said she can join after this. I'll do some duos with Ambi if you wanted to dip, but you let me know what's up. But well, once again, th thanks to Sushi for joining us for this. Sounds good, Ambi. Take your time. Don't worry. Like I said, even if you can't make it, there's always next week. Don't worry. We got you. You're always here for golf eyes. Too bad that's not trademarked. Camouflage, you should develop a game called Golf Eyes. <clears throat> and then in parentheses, no affiliation to Fall Guys. guys now mm. I th we, we're, we're not out we are not out is it me and camouflage or did camouflage drop I'm not gonna look at chat because we're yep we're in second now oh, oh shits are we gonna lose that spot now we might if I die I can't do math that quick. No, I think we're okay. I think we're still okay. Yeah, we're fine. Alright, cool, cool, cool. I wanted to style, but then a strawberry got flung at me. That is fair. Oh, this one. All right. I don't know if... Do, do we have a strategy for this?
I'm clearly not sending this in the right direction, huh? Alright, forget it. Because I'm clearly not understanding how we can send it. Oh, they're already there? Wow, shit. guys. Seriously? They're just gonna stand there? Are you kidding? Oh, let me tell you guys something. If you are those- if you are those people, you need to stop right now. Because I'm getting pretty angry with people, man. I'm getting pretty tired of the human race. Oh my god. Please finish the fucking game. If you're there... fucking tired of people. I'm pretty fucking tired of people. Okay. Alright, so Sushi's dipping for this one. And hopefully Ambi will join. Is anyone else online? Oh, cool, I can't invite people. Camp Flag, are you able to invite Ambi? Because I'm... I can't. I can't open up the menu. Amby said she's just doing something real quick, so she'll be good in a minute. And you know what? If that's the case, give me just two minutes myself. I'm going to run to the bathroom.
Okay, I am back. Yeah, welcome in. Welcome in, HD. How's everyone doing? You fall guys, man? Maybe. Nah, just on Wednesdays. <laughs> now, I haven't done it in a little while, but uh, for a good chunk of time early this year, I was, for early this year and late last year, I was doing fall guys every Wednesday. So, just kind of got back to it, having some fun with it. Do you play fall guys, HD? Do you play it? And I got the hydrate for you right here. have played but it's been a minute yeah that's how i felt uh, our friend cam like here loves playing fall guys and we would play a lot of it um sick nasty mcgee at it there you go fuck yeah well hey man if you ever if you ever get it back up and running if you ever re-download it whatever you're doing and you want to play some wednesdays around 1 p.m est is usually our time for doing it you can always hit us up on the discord too to see um Ambie said she's opening up her Switch now. I don't know if she's... I don't know why she's not saying it in the stream, but... Maybe she's just still getting situated. <coughs> but she will be joining us in a second. But yeah, we're always looking for people to play. It's usually me and Cam Flag. We had one of his friends playing with us. Sometimes Ambie plays when she doesn't have work. She goes to work later today, so she can play. Cam Flag, I don't know if that's true. Sounds good, HD. No big deal. Yo, Ambi, it is not your day for this. Hey, it's your day, just not for Fall Guys. I would know what people call me. Okay, okay, all right, all right. I'll back off. Amy, do you have a second controller? Does that mean does that mean that Ambie can jump on your back and just piggy ride the whole game? Yeah, she still need <laughs> she still needs the controller to hit the button. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll do, like, a couple games. I think I'm, I'll, I'll be going until about 3.30. I'll take that three-hour break, get some stuff done, come back with some Pokemon Sword and Shield at 6.30 p.m. EST, and then hit up some Halo Infinite at 9.30 p.m. EST. Be a cool little late-night stream. I haven't heard from Ambie again. I don't know what she's doing. Well, I'm, I'll be on sword, but a couple, but one of my friends, or maybe two, I don't know who has sword and who has shield, but between the four of us, we've got both of them. We do have both of them, but we're doing some Dynamax adventures. Every, actually, every Wednesday night for the last four years, pretty much, we've been doing that. <laughs> we've been doing some shiny hunting. Sounds good, Ambie. 
more of a sword guy. I my I play my main one on sword. Whenever I play the Pokemon games, I'm almost always the first one on the list. You know, red and blue, I would play on red. Gold, silver, I'd play on gold. Ruby, play diamond. Camfly, can you invite Ambi? Because I can't open the menu. Ambi only has to tell me if she needs to get my something or something like that, and I'll be a carry. True. Played just once once this year. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people have fallen off on the Switch. I was actually literally just tra uh, talking to my friend, and uh, if you request me, Ambi, I might be able to join, because I, I, I literally cannot open the menu, so hopefully Ambi can I can do that. Um, but yeah, I, I literally just talked to my friend about that HD, and he was like, yeah, I played my Switch once this year, and I'm like, yep, that, that sounds right. Need to either stop or play more. I feel... Uh, here's the thing with the membership, man. Because I don't know what kind of games you're playing. If they require the internet connection membership. But, man. Nintendo does not know how to run an internet connection. Like, it's just... Like, Nintendo... I, I view Nintendo the same way I, I view, like, Ubisoft. Nintendo has gotten where they are because of what they used to do, not what they do now. And now they're just riding the coattails of it and can do whatever the fuck they want because they're, they've got already gone to that position. But can't do anything inside of it? Alright, here. Let me let me quit out then. Hold on. I'll just re-invite both of you. Oh, well, too late. <laughs> if you buy 12 months of membership now until September 8th, you get two extra months free. Interesting. I mean, like, it's not a lot of money for it. I mean, how, I, it's 20 for the year, I believe. Like... That's not bad. However, for what their internet connection is, it's not... I, I wouldn't even pay a penny for it. Like, if I had the choice, I would not be paying a penny for that fucking service. Like, it is so shitty. You know, and here here's the way... Because this is why... This is the funniest part of it. Are you guys ready for this? There is absolutely no reason to be Switch friends with somebody. There's no reason. You know how funny this is? Me and Black Belt have been doing the Pokemon Sword and Shield raids on the Switch every Wednesday for the last four years. Literally since the pandemic. We've been doing it since the pandemic. Every Wednesday for four years. And we are not Switch friends. Why not? Because it's fucking useless. It makes no sense. The only thing that it's good for is to see what your friends are playing and if they're online. You can send them a message, but like also in this day and age, you can send them and you can send your friend a message in any other way. You know, like how many how many people are out there that have a Nintendo Switch and an internet connection that don't have a phone or access to the internet otherwise to like hop on Facebook, Twitter, like whatever. Like you can send your friends messages in any other way that's not a Nintendo Switch. And that's the only plus side. How, how do you have an online internet service where you can't invite your friend to a game? Like, how are we in the year 2024 and I can't invite my friend from the friend menu to play Pokemon Scarlet and Violet with me? Specific amount of games where you can invite your friend. Yeah, but, like, why is it a specific amount? Why is that not a universal thing? It's, like... Exactly how I talk about Ubisoft and like other company and other AAA companies that like like that. It's embarrassing. It's not just like, oh wow, they're a little bit behind on the time. No, it's embarrassing. Nintendo is a billion, multi-billion dollar company, and they can't spend the money to figure out how to do that. Sony was not for nothing. Sony was doing that on the PS3 for free. You didn't even have to spend money to do it on the PS3. Yet, Nintendo's making you spend $20 to have less services than even Sony had for free? If Sony was giving you something for free and Nintendo won't even give you what you're paying for, that's how you know it's bad. Because Sony is an embarrassing company. But Jesus Christ, Nintendo, if you're being talked about in a less way than Sony is in that regard, it's embarrassing. I... <laughs> <laughs> See, we're we're on the same page, HD. You're stuck. Are you still stuck? Nah, you're good, Ambi. Oh, you're in the beginning. 
You must have been really stuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Did we make it with that? Oh my god, that's that's crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, it's just horrible. I I'm getting nervous about the Switch. Well, I mean, I've been nervous about the Switch, too. Because, like, obviously, N Nintendo's a little bit behind with technology. But at the same time, if you really think about it, the Switch couldn't have been as strong as the PS4 and Xbox One simply due to the fact that it was also a handheld, which is fine. I think Nintendo, their console being a handheld, is totally fine in sacrificing some power to it. I think the worrying thing is that they've been saying the Switch 2 is going to be as powerful as a PS4, and then we hear nothing about it this year. I know they've already said, like, oh, well, we're going to announce it by the end of this fiscal year, which is April of next year. I, I, I don't think that's right. But I remember seeing an article where that was the quote, and then they gave that time frame, which doesn't make sense, but... I, basically, what I'm understanding is that they'll announce the next Switch by April of next year, which makes no sense. Why did Nintendo not try and get it out this year? It would have been se it would have been the seven-year life cycle that Nintendo typically follows, and on top of that, nothing else is releasing this year. Xbox and PlayStation don't have any massive hardware coming out. Like they would have had no competition. Do you know how many Do you know how many families would have just bought the new Switch because they were like, oh well, that's the big new video game thing that we can get for our kids. You know, like how much money Nintendo would have just gotten because they didn't have the competition. And Nintendo didn't try and push it to come out this year? How bad do you think things went wrong in testing that they were like, yeah, we can't put it out this year. Like, we have to wait until next year. Like, I think certain things had to go really wrong for them to have changed their mind on that. I mean, they're still going to make money on the Switch 2 no matter what. That's not my... Like, my point is more so if they put it out this year, they would have made that much more. Like, it's insane to me. The decision that was made. Yo, you gotta be fucking getting me stop. Uh oh. I don't know how long the fan cycles are, so I'm gonna play it safe. It would have been really embarrassing if I still fell. Yo. I hope that guy died. Um. I just think to all the party chats out on PS3, all the GTA and COD lobbies, and they were able to afford that for free. I, I'm pretty... Can you even... I actually don't even know this. Can you do a party chat on the Nintendo Switch? Can you invite your friend to talk to you? I don't even think you can do that. Although, really, really think about it, because I had the same line of thinking, HD... That, like, oh, wow, that's insane. You're marketing your brand new console as being as powerful as last gen. But at the same time, if it's handheld, that's pretty impressive. Like, I do think that, like, having a PS4 in your pocket is pretty impressive. But, like, at the same time, I don't have any faith in Nintendo doing that. With an app on the phone, you can. Why the fuck would you do... You have a phone, my guy. At that point, just get their fucking number. I don't know. That makes no sense. Ambie made it? Oh, did she hop on your back? Bro. That's so useless. Exactly. At that point, get Discord. Like, why are you... <laughs> exactly. Use Discord. Use your phone. Like, use anything else. Why use the Nintendo app to do that? dude it's just so but i mean like that's the thing because like we're you know we're talking about this and we're like oh wow like it's embarrassing how nintendo is doing all this shit but at the same time like it's nintendo like who cares you know like part of the conversation that people have which i d like this part of the conversation that we're having about it is totally viable in my opinion People are talking about it like, dude, I can't believe the Nintendo Switch doesn't run at 4K at, like, 120 FPS. And I'm like, dude, it doesn't need to. Like, I've never once been playing Super Mario 64 and thinking, man, I really wish I could see the mustache fibers on Mario. Like, I don't need it. I don't need my Nintendo games to run that good. What I do need in my Nintendo Switch is internet that works. Okay, we got fucked. We got fucked. You know, 
Nintendo definitely needs to like reevaluate some shit, but at the but at the same time, I think these are problems that like I think these are problems that not most people that play Nintendo, you know, like play, you know, PlayStation and Xbox, obviously kids play them, but I think if you're talking about a kid-friendly console, you're definitely talking your Nintendo your Nintendo Switch over your Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5. And if that's the case, if you're 6 years old and you're playing Mario Party, you don't give a shit what it looks like, you know. But, at the end of the day, I think what kids will care about more so nowadays, instead of, you know, 4K, 60 FPS, I think they want internet connections that they can play with their friends. I think they want ease of access to be able to play with their friends instead. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I still don't really, maybe that's still not true. But I think if kids that are playing the Switch are going to care about one thing, I think playing with their friends would be what they'd care about more than the graphics. So in Nintendo terms, I feel like that has to come before. Show me them stash hairs. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm definitely of the variety that thinks that something went really wrong during testing to the fact that we were, everyone was planning on hearing it early this year. And then Nintendo had to make an announcement that said, you will not be hearing anything about the Switch 2 anytime soon. Um, like, the fact that they had to announce that, like, it's, it just feels weird. It was good that they did that, because I think it was for the, was it for the Nintendo, I think it was the Nintendo Direct, that everyone was kind of assuming, like, oh, we're gonna hear about the Switch, and then they came out, like, a day ahead of time, and said, you will not be hearing anything about the Switch, which was the right move, because... If they didn't say that, and people didn't hear about the new Switch, I think there would have been some fucking, uh, some controversies going on. I think people would have been very upset that they weren't hearing about it, and rightfully so. First! But it's just wild, man. First place! And there's Ambi. Oh, we're, we're already down a guy. Our team is already only three. Alright, Ambi. You're gonna have to work harder. We love you, Ambi. Did you say you have work at five today, Ambi? I think I said Ambi a lot in the last minute. I think I need to cool down. Yeah, you were definitely more towards the end of it. You definitely made it way past halfway. Alright, Ambi, do you see where I am? Come meet me. Come on up here when you can. Did you guys get each other? Camouflage, did you get her? Did you get her out? I was like, as soon as I saw you guys get out at the same time, I'm like, I think I know what happened here. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> it was on purpose. I knew it. I threw the bomb at someone and she came running in from behind me. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> you guys can back out and we can try again. That one's a long game. Like, it'd be rough to sit there for that long and still not make it. Then I got thrown into the air and got sniped midair into the hole. <laughs> That's rough. Hmm. <laughs> 
Listen, it was always golf. Or if you're not playing golf, are you really playing anything? HG's like, I'll play golf. Yeah, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be awesome if we had this system? Let's call it Nintendo. And they had some really cool motion control games that we could play golf with. But wouldn't it be even cooler if they had some kind of internet access that they put in sometime that we could all invite each other and play? Dude, that'd be fucking wild. Un unforeseen. Unheard of, really. I will say, I'm scared of motion controls now, and it was because of one specific instance. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm type 1 diabetic, so I have an insulin pump in me. So basically how it works, I keep the pump in my pocket. It's a little small device, like smaller than, it's just smaller than a phone. Uh, it's just in my pocket, and it has a wire that gets attached to my stomach, and that's how the insulin goes into me, keeping me alive. Uh, that was a good fucking grab, Ambi. Holy shit, that was another really good grab. You just need, spa you just need good spatial awareness, because you're grabbing a lot. Um, what do you call it? So, my sister's boyfriend brought over Switch Sports, and we played volleyball, and it was really cool. It was really cool. Until I went to serve, and I put my hand under my wire, and when I bumped it to serve, it, it I pulled the wire, and it ripped it out of my stomach, and it hurt. There was a lot of blood. That was horrible. Zero out of ten. Nothing to do with the game, but I can still try and blame Nintendo on it with all the other problems that they have. So, I heard about the VR golf game. I I, th I think I know a couple people that have played it. What's this? Keep your balls in your area? <laughs> I never do. For legal reasons, that one was a joke. I do keep them in my area. This was gonna be hard. Jeez. I didn't help us on that one. Yo, how the fuck? It seems like everyone's just against the red team. What the fuck? Alright, fuck us, I guess. If we can just get one yellow ball out of here, we'll win. Alright, well, no we won't. No we won't. We're out. What the fuck, man? Dude, do you under... At, at some point, I have to realize it's me, but, like, I fucking hate team games because I don't know what it is. I always like to say, like, man... Like, we just... No. Are you fucking kidding? I'd like to say it's not me, but I pretty much lose almost every team game I play. And I really don't think it's me, but, like, at some point, I have to realize the common denominator is me and be like, well, maybe I'm bad. Give me two seconds, I'm just gonna grab my food, but... 
I will load it up. Yeah, wait, what happened to Ambi? Hello, Ambi. Ambi, please stop leaving because you know that I can't do that. Um, Camfly, can you invite her? Or do I have to leave the game again? What happened? Did it just put you out? Oh. Understandable. Yeah, Kevin Flex, see if you can invite her. If you can't, then I'll just quit out again. <laughs> Ambie, is your grandma still there? Or did she leave already? Are you kidding me? Oh, that was infuriating. Fuck it, I'm going around this way. Oh god, I did it wrong. I hated that. That was so horrible. Why are we a team of three again, man? Come on.
Nice job, Camel Flag. Yo, stop. Stop. Come on. Ugh. I don't know if it was a recent update or something, but man, is it way easier in this game to be fucking rolling around on the ground and not being able to fucking get up. It just seems like I have way... What the fuck? Dude, for the love of God. I can't. I can't handle this fucking game sometimes, man. I... Really? You just pushed me off? This is another one of those cases where I'm like, why does everyone else move me so easy? It moves me so easy. But I can't move anybody else easy. It's a lot like grabbing. None of the mechanics in the game seem to work for me. But I think I'm just bad at it. Well, we did it. You're not bad at this, Ambi. You've won. Ambi, you've won games. Do you think most other people have won a game? No. guy and his penguin. And if we just distract everybody from grabbing one, we can let Camouflage have all the glory. No fucking way did I get it. Oh shit, and I fell. That sounds good, Ambi. Yeah, no problem. Come on, come on, yeah. This will probably be my last game, too. It's 320 now. We'll probably end it around 325-ish. Probably. Um, <clears throat> I know I said it a bunch today. But don't forget, in about three hours' time, we'll be doing some Pokemon Sword and Shield Dynamax adventures. So, if you guys are into Pokemon, if you guys are into shiny hunting, if you guys are into giving other people some shiny hunting luck, come on by. Okay, three bananas... One, maybe two dragon fruit. I can't see anything on the other side. But definitely three bananas. One dragon fruit. Good job, Ambi. Three kiwi, two papaya, one banana. What do you guys think that is? What's that fruit there? It's not a papaya. What is it? It's not a mango. What's green on the outside? It's not a pear. Three kiwi, two unknown green fruit. Ambi. Ambi, I saw that happen. Oh, we're in fourth by a lot. Oh, well, that would we have three people. I always forget. Uh, we probably lose on this one, but that's okay. So, ah, uh, that makes sense. Uh, I've been there a million times. Don't worry, Ambi, you're good. I've gotten out a million times from that. It sucks. Right, I'm just gonna go wherever Camouflage goes, because I didn't count. I tend not to count on this last one, because you don't really get that many more points.
Well, that's on me for trusting Camouflage there. That wouldn't have helped us, though. That wouldn't have saved us, so... No big deal. I'm just saying. But I want to thank Camouflage and Abby and Sushi for joining us today. For a bunch of fall guys. It's a lot of fun. Um, I don't think I'm going to raid out to anybody right now. We're just going to go ahead and end the stream. I didn't even see pairs. just made the jump. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking we're going to try and get this back into a regular Wednesday rotation. As long as time allows for it. So, yeah. I want to thank everyone again for being here. In three hours at 6.30 p.m. EST, we're going to be hitting Pokemon Sword and Shield Dynamax Adventures at 9.30 p.m. EST. Three hours after that, we're going to be doing some Halo Infinite on Legendary. We haven't played it in a while now. We were busy, didn't have a lot of time to do it, so we're finally getting back to it. So if you guys are into Pokemon, 6.30 p.m. If you're into Halo, 9.30 p.m. If you're into neither of those, I don't care. Please join us. We're fun. I stand by that. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing Trails of Cold Steel 2 at around 1 p.m. We're going to be doing an early afternoon stream. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you about the rest of the week. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on what we are able to do time-wise. Um, yeah. Hopefully, we'll see everyone again in about three hours. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you later.